The MMR vaccine has proved to be a dilemma for many parents. It provides protection against measles, mumps and rubella, all potentially fatal illnesses. But after the now discredited research, which claimed to show a link to autism, many parents didn't use it. Now, more than a decade later, what happens when one parent wants their children to be vaccinated and the other doesn't? The case we report on tonight involves divorced parents and two children, one 15 and the other 11. The judge upheld the wishes of the father and ordered the two children to be vaccinated. The deadline for that was today. Here's Sancha Berg. Can a 15-year-old be forced to have a vaccination against their express wishes if one of their parents insists? Last month, the High Court judge ordered that a 15-year-old girl and her 11-year-old sister had to have the MMR jab by the end of today, even though they said they didn't want it. The elder had said, I'd be so upset if that was in my body. The mother didn't want them vaccinated either, but the parents are divorced and the father brought the case. It was Andrew Wakefield's research, published in 1998, that triggered a national panic about MMR and a possible link with autism. The mother didn't want the girls vaccinated. The father agreed. Wakefield's work, now discredited, had a significant national impact. As the yellow bars show, vaccination rates dropped. They're now rising, but many older children are vulnerable. Cases of measles, mumps, rubella have been growing. In Wales, people have been queuing outside clinics, desperate to get their children vaccinated after measles broke out there. This prompted the girl's father to change his mind. He was worried there could be serious consequences of these illnesses. He wanted the children vaccinated. The judge had to consider the children's concerns and their understanding of the issues. They were worried about the ingredients in the vaccine, but they were less worried about the ingredients in any medicine they might have to take if they contracted any of these diseases. One said, with measles, you only get a rash. The court-appointed guardian was worried they'd been strongly influenced by their mother. In turn, the mother gave evidence she was worried about the psychological impact on the children, particularly the elder one, who'd been counselled for anxiety. Parents have a choice to do what they feel in their hearts they really believe. I feel both children have grown up in a frame of mind which they were settled in and supported in the same outlook and are now forced to take a different view without more positive reassurance. And the recording of ingredients of the vaccine is unsatisfactory. They have a right to be informed. Plainly the older a child is, the more seriously her views are taken, the more carefully she's listened to by the court. Um, in this case, the judge decided that the views expressed by this 15-year-old weren't sufficiently balanced, weren't sufficiently sensible, and didn't give sufficient um, weight to the positive side of the immunisation. I'm aware that this is against the girls' wishes, but that is not the only factor. The court also has to consider their level of understanding of the issues involved and what factors have influenced their views. In this case, I do not consider there is a balanced level of understanding by them of the issues involved. No parent wants to expose their child to unnecessary danger. The medical debate is settled, lawyers say. This is the third time the High Court has ruled a child should have the MMR vaccine against parents' wishes. It's unusual for children to have such strong objections too. The judge acknowledged it will have an impact on the family. Sancha Berg, well with me now is a mother's solicitor, Philippa Dolan. Good evening. Um, what made the mother so sure, do you think, that she was right? You were acting for the mother. The mother would say that this was a view that the whole family had reached um, since the children were young. And it's the father who's changed his mind recently. And in the meantime, the children have been brought up with a particular point of view, which is that if you're healthy, um, you eat properly, you've got a good immune system, then it's not necessary to be vaccinated and there are side effects which can be harmful. But presumably, or maybe not, but one of the things in the father's mind was it's not just about his children, it's about their grandchildren and of course rebellion and pregnancy, for example, is devastating. Yes, the, they're only 15 and 11 at the moment and it would be the mother's position 
And she would say the family has always um, discussed things with the children. They've always been treated in a, in a way that they've, their views have been respected, they've been informed, they've had family discussions. So in that sense, it, that, well, that supports the fact that um, the children can make that decision when they are when adults. Each, when they each re, the, yeah. the, the, the age majority. Um, but, I mean, it has happened before, but I'm not sure it's happened to a 15-year-old before. What do you think is the significance of this decision? Um, well, we'll have to see. I, I was very surprised at it. I was very surprised at a 15-year-old um, who, you know, 15-year-olds are allowed to make all sorts of decisions legally. And not having an MMR vaccination is, I, I mean, this may be um, controversial, but it's, it's not life-threatening in the southeast of England. Yeah. Um, in 2013. Um, I mean, I've, I know, of course, that you kept your distance from the daughter, you were acting uh, for the mother. Uh, but uh, first of all, I want to ask you, the deadline for the vaccination was today. Have the girls been vaccinated? No, and the, there are practical difficulties in enforcing the order, um, and that is at the moment an ongoing an ongoing issue. But if they're practical difficulties, these were not difficulties presumably that were foreseen by the judge then? I, I don't know. I, 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 I'd be surprised if they weren't foreseen. I, so I, I what think happens now then? I, I can't really say at the moment. Okay, but the, girl, um, in, the, 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 the judge ordered the girls to be vaccinated yes. by today. The girls have not been vaccinated. Yes. That has implications, presumably, for the mother, who presumably uh, has responsibilities for the children as well as the father. There are no, there are no legal um, at the moment. There's not a legal deadline that that's a, that's a serious issue, and this is ongoing, and the parents are in discussion, and you know everyone hopes it will be resolved without any um, any more litigation. But. But, I mean, it must have an impact on the girls, particularly the 15-year-old. I think it, it's had an impact on both of them. Um, and it, in the judgment, it said that they shouldn't be treated separately. So, I mean, they, it was recognised they both uh, have a, you know, they are independent thinking people. And the 11-year-old also feels very strongly about it. Philippa, thank you very much indeed.